everybody, and welcome to Larry's Country Diner. We're so glad you're here. we got a great show. We're going to get started. Here is a man who is a true patriot. He once said, give me chocolate or give me death. Absolutely. It's Larry. Absolutely. One of the tother. Hey, we got a show today. No, oh, yeah. So I'm going to get to the promise right away. Did you give me a promise? Help no, I said, would you give me a yeah, promise? Yeah, I'm going to give you a green one. Not one of those. I want a promise from you. It ain't going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think so. Renee 5.5 five, five, says, no, it's Matthew 5.5 five, five says, God blesses those who are gentle. Well, that's not her. <laughs> and lowly for the whole earth will belong to them. And then neat. Isaiah 40, 31 says, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. That was my mother's favorite scripture. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I read that and I go, it doesn't say anything about canes. I'm walking with canes. And that's you're not, walking. That's not you're walking, brother. though. You're walking. That's right. Go get it. Hey, we have Tim Rushlow, Larry Stewart, and Richie McDonald with yeah. us today. Yeah. Woo. That's a powerful yeah. trio right there. Triple I'll tell trouble. You what. Triple yep. trouble. Richie McDonald at the keyboard was with Lone Star. Larry Stewart with the guitar and one of the guitars in hand. The middle guy over there with his hand up was Restless Heart and Tim Rushlow from Little Texas. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's us. Now, at one point, you had a big band, didn't you? I, yeah, I still do occasionally. Oh, but, do you? Uh, there, uh, nothing big right now. No, <laughs> no nothing There's big. No, no gathering except here at your diner. <laughs> Can't, <laughs> Can't afford the masks yeah. when you get to big groups. Can I ask you something? I've always Shh. wanted to. I live in Williamson hey, County. Hey, hey. There is a community called Little Texas. Mm -hmm. Is that where you got that name? It is, yeah. Well, son of a gun. Yeah. Um, and what is I'd it? I'd always wondered about it. There's a community called Little Texas. So we're close to Franklin. Um, D Doug Growl that worked at Warner Brothers who kind of helped us get our start and get our record deal. Um, he owned, I think about 16 acres out there and he had a double wide trailer on it. <laughs> and, and, and he would let us rehearse out there and then the neighbors would come by and on their tractors literally and say, hey, wow. do you guys mind if we sit outside and listen? And we're like, no. And then a couple weeks later, they kind of showed up with some you know, interesting uh, gallon jugs full of stuff and they're like you should take a sip of that and I was like yeah. uh, no I, I think that'll kill I've me I've heard about that <laughs> but, <laughs> that, but they were known back in the 20s and 30s and prohibition times as uh, they would say the law would come out there but they'd never come out because they were pretty rough characters and they wore gun belts and so the, actually the street later was named that we were on it's called Little Texas Lane and uh, so we thought, you know what, that's a good name. We'll see if something, something better comes along, we'll know it. Well, so I'm that's glad what we're I'm glad you satisfied. How long yeah. was Little Texas together? Uh, when I was in the band, we started in 88, and then we did clubs for three years, and then we got a record deal in 90, put out our first single in spring of 91, and we hit it pretty hard until 98, and then disbanded. And they've gotten back together, uh, minus me, and gone on, and they continued to tour on their own since they're then. They're still out there? Yeah, they're still touring. I can believe they are. As long as we're down that road, uh, Larry Stewart, how long was Wrestle's Heart together? Uh, 30. Hello. Seven years. Wow. This year. Yeah. Oh, well, not, that's not too restless. <clears throat> <laughs> well, let's put it this way. <clears throat> the song I'm going to do here at the diner uh, was number one before cell phones. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love wow. it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> you are are you going to open the first shot? Are you going to play the first song? <clears throat> yeah, I'll play the first song. All that's right. okay. When I come back, I'm going to find out about Richie McDonald. Okay. Hit us with it, guys. Okay. Maybe you'll remember this song, boys. Go ahead and do the intros. A song called That Rock. Oh, yeah. Every little move she makes is gonna catch somebody's eye. You ought to see all the double takes when she goes walking by. But she's so distant, she seems so cold. Everybody says that and rock.
change her point of view I'll keep trying and I won't stop until the love in her eyes shines through when I show Country frontman. Where'd you come up with the name? Well, we're three front men of bands. Yep. And uh, it was his idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I needed a gig at the time. <laughs> this was back in 2007 when I left Lone Star the first time. And uh, I called Larry one night and said, you know what? Just We ought to put something together, a trio together, and just go do some shows and have some fun with it. And and like Larry said, we were all, you know, front men of very successful bands. And, right. Um, here we are. Did it, now, did the COVID hit before you were able to get out there and do stuff? Well, you know what? We've done this for probably, what, you think 10 years? Probably. My goodness, Just where was I? Really, you know what? We were kind of off the radar. We didn't really uh, give it the attention that it deserved. And, yeah. But we're kind of at a point where, you know what, it's kind of at a point in our careers where Steve we just thought, work. you know, it's time to get out there. And uh, we had some interest in, you know, some folks. And, um, and we went and visited the troops for yeah. about, I don't know, four or five trips. Wow. Did you really? Over, overseas and landed on the Truman and landed wow. on the USS Bush and went to Iraq and Iran and all that stuff. And, wow. and played for the men and women. And it was one of the that had things to be I'd rewarding. Yeah. I have some great pictures when we were landed on Truman of Larry's face. Really good picture. I mean, you were like, <laughs> you know, you had we had the helmets on and the goggles, and I was trying to keep from yeah throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, did, we did some really great stuff uh, that most civilians never get a chance to do, and and it was really a blessing to you know to go and and um, you know we kind of thought. I think we thought we're bringing them a slice of home, and then we got there, and they were giving us a slice of home. Oh, isn't that so it great? was it was really cool, and, and the experiences were, you know, landing on aircraft carriers and being oh, on, yes. being on Ospreys and Blackhawks with a SEAL team in Afghanistan. You know, all around you, it's kind of like, okay, this is not home. <laughs> <laughs> but it was but it was awesome, and, and and those were the times. Usually, we would go like in January when their bands weren't working. We would plan it in those times, and so we've done that on and off for a decade. So we've kind of always known this would be a a fun run if we ever could get a run yeah. you know, and do it. So now here we are. Wow. I love the thought of that. Yeah. If Ann Tartar were here, she would be saying, go to tartarusa.com mm -hmm. and when she comes back, we'll have her say that for us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a break now and we'll be right back with more. Oh, if Larry thought landing on the Truman was exciting, he's about to meet Nadine. Stick around. Welcome back to Larry's Country Diner. You know, people tell me all the time, even the, cust uh, the mustard and ketchup's better at Larry's Country Diner. Have you ever heard that? No. Yeah, people tell me that all the time. That's Larry, by the way. 
I had a call from the Mayo Clinic the other yeah. day. Got to go see them. But I keep wanting to call them the mustard or the mayonnaise. Uh, yeah. The, uh, well, Mayo Clinic, yeah. Mustard or what's that other stuff? Ketchup. Ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't find that funny. I don't know. At maybe, Mayo. Maybe not. Oh. Oh no. Look out, boys, here she comes. Woo, Nadine, Nadine. Nadine, how you doing? I tell you what, y'all need to put another bathroom in here or something. There was that bathroom out there is about as busy as a bathroom at a chili cook off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think oh, I'd ever get big. in there. <laughs> it's I all that chocolate it. you're eating. I know, honey, I'll be awake all night long. But what do you do? <laughs> Go put your mask on. She puts on. it out. I ain't putting no mask on. I got CS. <laughs> CS. Common sense. Common sense. <laughs> <laughs> Man. You just heard that. <laughs> oh, it hit just now. <laughs> I, I had lunch yesterday with a friend of mine. And her daughter came on. Oh, by the way, it's good to have you front me in here. Thank you. Really, it's good to have y'all. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be the front rather than. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> they um, we we had lunch, and her daughter came, and her daughter was sitting there, and she said, "Nadine, I want to ask you something." And I said, "Yeah." She said. My husband left on a three-day hunting trip and forgot his gun. What do you think that means? And I said, well, apparently it means that he don't intend to shoot whatever he's hunting. <laughs> yeah. That'll, you'll get that one tomorrow. <laughs> now, one of our neighbors was over the other night and he's a cop. He was telling us this man called him on the phone and said, my wife went shopping and she hadn't come home yet and I don't know where she is. He said, well, what kind of, what kind of build is she? Well, she, I don't know. She's sort of, she's not skinny, but she's not fat. Well, what kind, how tall is she? Well, probably, I don't know, five, three, maybe. What color hair? Well, it changes a couple of times a year. Might be Maybe reddish, maybe. What color is her eyes? I, I, maybe hazel, I don't know, blue, maybe. He said, well, what kind of car is she driving? He said, she was driving my truck. What kind of truck was it? Well, it was a brand new Ford 150 King Cab 4x4 four four with a V8 <laughs> custom leather seats. And he said, and that's when he started to cry. <laughs> priorities, priorities. Sounds just like Homer, doesn't it? <laughs> I tell you what, sounds like Homer. What? We was on one of that last cruise we was on. The yep. captain was talking to us, and he was telling me and Homer about this old couple was on the outside, and they were looking at the moon one night, and this big old wave came through and knocked her off. Just oh, knocked her right. off. They couldn't find her. They left them on. The, I mean, the man stayed on there for three weeks, and they never could find her. So <laughs> they sent him home. And uh, Captain told him, said, we'll call you when we find her. And so he called him about three weeks later, and he said, we found her. And uh, we hate to inform you, but you would assume she's dead. Uh, but he said she, she was dead. And, um, but we wanted to tell you that uh, attached to her rear end was an oyster that was worth $50,000. What do you want us to do? Now, this sounds like home. He said, send me the pearl and just rebate the trap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my homer would do cold. that. My homer would do that. <laughs> that's cold. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put sign up. Yeah, we need it. It's going to say, whatever you are not changing, you are choosing. Ooh. Oh, on the church sign. Yep. I've been thinking about that with my weight. Whatever you're not changing, you're choosing. So I'm so reaching for the chocolate <laughs> pie. <laughs> I've been choosing. Calls for a bite of chocolate pie. The uh, front men of country. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We got it. We got it.
Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, Richie McDonald. He called her on the road From a lonely cold hotel room Just to hear her say I love you one more time And when he heard the sound of the kids laughing in the background Had to wipe away a tear from his eye A little voice came on the phone Said, Daddy, when you coming home He said the first thing that came to his mind I'm already there Take a look around I'm the sunshine I'm the shadow on the ground I'm the whisper in the wind I'm your imaginary friend And I know I'm in your prayers I'm already there She got back on the phone Said I really miss you, darling Don't worry about the kids, they'll be alright Wish I was in your arms Lying right there beside you But I know that I'll be in your dreams tonight And I'll gently kiss your lips Touch you with my fingertips so turn out the light and close your eyes I'm already there Don't make a sound I'm the beat in your heart I'm the moonlight shining down I'm the whisper in the wind And I'll be there to the end Can you feel the love? Richie, I said I was going to ask you when I got to you from, the, uh, from Lone Star. You, it's, it says you founded Lone Star in 1992. No, actually, uh, Dean Sams founded Lone Star. Is that right? You lost it? it? I lost it, and uh, he founded Dean, it. He founded it. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. Yeah, Dean actually found Lone Star in uh, 92. Uh, he actually, Dean worked out at Opryland USA along with uh, John Rich, who's now big and rich. Oh, yeah. And, uh, then uh, acquired uh, Michael Britt, who was working at a Pizza Hut at the time. And then I was working at the uh, Tennessee Farmers Co-op there in Laverne, Tennessee. <laughs> and uh, I tell you, I prefer playing music than mixing pig feet. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> now, did all of y'all work at, uh, at Opera Land at one point? I didn't. I did. Yeah, I sang in the Country Music USA show out there. Wow. I was the stock clerk at the Country Music Hall of Fame. <laughs> While they were doing that, yeah. <laughs> While they were out making music. 
everybody comes to it from a different perspective and a different point. Well, I tell you, we, uh, we all came from different places and came to Nashville, Tennessee to chase our dream. Yep. And uh, we founded it. <laughs> founded we did it. Found it. Yeah, you know, it makes you, I think we were talking earlier, uh, it makes you appreciate what you do and through all this pandemic stuff and where we haven't really, you know, been able to play and do what we love to do. Um, done odd jobs over the years and uh, I'm telling you, it, I miss it. I know y'all, y'all miss it. Just uh, very grateful for what we do for a living. Yep, absolutely. I think a lot of times when we were talking amongst ourselves about missing playing out on the road and it's always like well you know you you want to play music for people because it it kind of makes them forget about their own problems for an hour you know and, and that that element's missing and then i got asked on a radio interview the other day what did i miss about it and it kind of stumped me for a minute i said well i miss playing for people and i realized i was getting as much out of sure. playing for them as they're getting out of me singing for them and it was like wow okay we got yeah. hey i miss it too you know yeah, we all need therapy so we're to the point now where we'll we'll work for food got any <laughs> yeah chocolate pie chocolate pie sounds good right now i, see some I like there. that you gonna share i like that i like that it's like having three three stars on our show yeah it's awesome having all three of you guys here Let's take a break and get out of here for a moment. <laughs> okay. I heard the rap and I'm going, say yeah, I've, what? I've heard the new slogan on Music Row is, we'll sing for an oil change. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> Welcome back to Larry's Country Day. Do you notice today's special? Guys, have you heard this? The front men's triple threat pinto beans, turnip greens, and cornbread. Yeah, yeah, it'll have you singing all three parts by yourself. That's Larry. <laughs> we are delighted to have the front men of country, Richard McDonald from Lone Star, Larry Stewart from Restless Heart, Tim Rushlow, Little Texas. We've heard from everybody but Tim, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Am I up? You're Am up. You're up. All right. We'll send this one out to uh, all those people we talked about earlier in Little Texas, Tennessee out there. So here we go. I've seen a lot of places, I've been around the world I've seen some pretty faces, been with some beautiful girls Well after all I've witnessed, one thing still amazes me Just like a miracle, you have to see to believe Texas with his own hand brought down angels from the promised land. He gave them a place where they could dance. If you want to see heaven, brother, here's your chance. I've been sent to spread the message. I'll sing it with us at home. God bless Texas. Well, first he let the sun shine, then he made the waters deep. Then he gave us moonlight for all the world to see. Well, everybody knows that the Lord walks in mysterious ways. He took a rest, then on the very next day. Texas with his own hand brought down angels from the promised land. He gave them a place where they could dance. If you want to see heaven, brother, here's your chance. I've been sent to spread the message. Help me out now. God bless Texas. Come on. Texas with his own hand brought down angels from the promised land. 
He gave them a place where they could dance If you want to see heaven, brother, here's your chance I've been sent to spread the message God bless Texas, yeah, I've been sent to spread the message mm, God bless Texas Ended with a Roger Miller lick. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, usually it's a slide guitar, but I missed that part, so I said, well, I'll just sing it. So. That's right. <laughs> Very good. You guys are fun. Front men of country. Will the real Larry please stand up? <laughs> <laughs> that is incredible. That's amazing. Luann, yeah. can we put that on my pillow tonight? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> That's right. Take the dog out. She'll sleep in the other room. You sleep with your head. That is really great. That's right. <laughs> All right, where are we? We got another song, right? Yeah. And then we're so. gonna edit. Get, Hello? Will you straighten up? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Y'all should be so lucky. That's right. That, that is so cool. You, you're stoned. <laughs> <laughs> that is incredible. Okay. It has been a delight to have the... Uh, Front, front men of country. I want to say the country front men. Uh, well, I did say it either way you like. No, no. I want to do it right. <laughs> the front men of country. Uh, and I hope you have great success with it, guys. Thank you. I really do. I mean, you're, you're, each, each of your voices are so well known. That's, that's, nice. the, that's the interesting thing. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. Yeah. Appreciate that very much. We're having fun. I, I really wanted to hear your big band thing. Well, I'll have to bring them on in here one day, set it up, <laughs> take up the place. <laughs> we'll take over. It, I, I grew up in an era where I loved big band music. But what you got for us to get out of here with? Yeah, go ahead, Larry. Tell them about it. Well, uh, we recorded a song. Um, we don't have a project or anything, but we do have a single that we recorded. It's called If It Wasn't For The Radio. And it just mm. really talks about, you know, how so many people here in Nashville that come here to, again, test yep. their dream whether it be playing an instrument or, or whatever. So, you know, you dream of being on the radio when yep. you're a singer or songwriter or whatever. And so this song's about, you know, coming to Nashville and, get on the radio. and making it happen and getting on the radio. So We'll do it. All right. If we can remember the words, <laughs> we're going to do it for you. Great. I'd have never seen that butchka sliding closer on a third date Take my hand as we sat listening to songs on the airwaves I might have never stole my first kiss in that old Silverado With the button for the radio If it wasn't for the radio Good days, hard days Yeah, that's the soundtrack to my life Makes you feel something real Yeah, it hits home every time and all those honest melodies Wouldn't have a place to go If it wasn't for the radio If it wasn't for the radio If it wasn't for the radio Yeah, like it does Time rolls on and young love fades away and country stations kept on playing songs about heartbreak Might have never known sometimes you just gotta let her go If it wasn't for the radio If it wasn't for the radio Good days and heartaches Yeah, that's the soundtrack to my life 
makes you feel something real Yeah, it's home every time And all those honest melodies Wouldn't have a place to go If it wasn't for the radio If it wasn't for the radio If it wasn't for the radio summer long saved every dime I made and walked down to that pawn shop to buy the guitar on Lil Wayne I might have never let that six string take me down the music road if it wasn't for the radio 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 good days and heartaches yeah, that's the soundtrack to my life It makes you feel something real Yeah, it's home every time Cause all those honest melodies Wouldn't have a place to go If it wasn't for the radio If it wasn't for the radio If it wasn't for the radio Yeah, all those honest melodies Wouldn't have a place to go If it wasn't for the radio 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 Yeah! yeah. The Front Men of Country Reggie McDonald, Larry Stewart, and Tim Rushlow. Guys, good luck to you. Love Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks for being a part of the show today. Hi, Thanks incredible. for being the show today. Yeah, that was fun. Well, we'll be back next week. Thank you for watching. Remember Larry's Country Diner, where the cameras are always rolling, and we, we don't, don't care. care. <laughs>